Hi, good morning, good morning, seventh period. This is Mr. G, Mr. Garcia. So today we're gonna go ahead and review most of the missed questions uh, in the quiz, all right? So most likely if you're watching this video, you you have already finished the quiz and you got a score already. All right, so here we go. So what I want you to do is remember I told you last week that I needed you guys to, to make sure that you guys got a notebook. So make sure you guys get out your notebook now. Okay, and this is going to be your first page that you're going to use out of that notebook. Okay, so you're going to go to page number one. Go to page one, and you're going to, you know, it's going to look something like this. So what you, what I want you to do is, I want you to, you know, you already have this line right here. See this one? Now I want you to do another line this way. So you're going to do another line this way like this. Okay? So you're going to have this line and that line. So it's gonna look like mine. And then, uh, now if you don't have a notebook, just get a regular piece of paper. Just get a regular blank piece of paper, it's fine. And, and you're gonna make the lines just like that, okay? Then what you're gonna do is, you know how to go ahead and put your name up here. Let me zoom in. So you're gonna put your name and then the period, which is period seven. So make sure you put your name and period seven. Okay, and then uh, right here in the middle, you're gonna put review questions of quiz, like that. That's what you're gonna put on top, review questions of quiz, okay? All right, and then after that, you're gonna go ahead and Oops. So it's gonna look like that for now. Okay, and then right here, once we start doing the questions, you're gonna do them all right here. Okay? All right, so I'll show you guys here shortly. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start with number two. Okay. All right, so here's question number two. Okay, this is one of the ones that was missed a lot. Which is larger, one half or one fourth? One half or one fourth. So on your paper, you're gonna write this. Okay, let me show you. So which is greater, one half or one fourth? So we put a little circle there. Okay, so we have to use that alligator. Remember the, the alligator teeth, remember that? So if you know what one half is 0.5 and you know one fourth is 0.25, then you know that this is larger than that. Okay, this one half is larger than one fourth. If you don't know that, another way to show it is like this. You make the bottom number, the denominator, the same as the, the this denominator. So how do you get from 2 to 4? You multiply it times 2, right? So multiply this guy times 2, and what you do to the bottom, you do to the top. So this becomes 2 over 4, and this becomes 1 over 4. Now, since the denominators are the same now, now you know that this is bigger than that, because look at the 2. So it goes that way, okay? That's your answer for number two. So this is how you're gonna do these, okay? So when I go over the answers, you're gonna write them on here like this. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, so here's number eight. This one was also missed a lot. So this one says two thirds plus five thirds in simplest form. Two thirds plus five thirds in simplest form. Okay, here we go. All right, here's, here's number eight, five-thirds plus two-thirds. So the common denominator is the same, so on the bottom it still stays the same. On the top it's seven, seven over three, okay? Now, to change it to a mixed number, okay, because you saw a mixed number as the answer, right? So it's, how many times does three go into seven? It goes, it could go in one time, that's three. It could go in two times, that's six. It can't go in three times because it's nine. It'll go over. So three goes into seven two times. So it's two. Okay. Two and there's one remainder. So it's two and one third. There's your answer. Now, if you want to check your answer, remember, to check your answer, you do two, two times three plus one. So this becomes two times three is six plus one is seven, seven over three. So this is your answer right here. Okay, and then you check your answer right here. Okay, all right, let's keep going. 
So here's another missed one. This is number nine. Add these fractions, one sixth plus three sixths. Make sure your, answers, your answer is in the simplest form. So one sixth plus three sixths. Okay, let's do it. So one sixth plus three sixths. So the bottom stays the same and the top is four. Now, can we simplify this? Yes. What's half of four? Two. What's half of six? Three. There's your answer. You're done. All right, this is number 12. So it says to select the equivalent fraction for one tenth. Which fraction is the same as one tenth? Okay, so we have, so let's view our options. So we have three over 20, three over 10, two over 25, and four over 40, okay? Three over 20, three over 10, two over 25. So if you really look at this, okay, you have to find out if these are simplified, if they equal this, okay? And the only one that makes sense is the last one, four over 40. Okay, let's do that now. So here's number 12. So 1 tenth, is that the same as 4 over 40? Let's see. How would we get from 10 to 40? We would multiply times 4, right? So multiply this times 4, and then what you do to the bottom, you do to the top. So this becomes 4 over 40 and 4 over 40. So they are equal. That's it. All right, now if you ran out of space like me, then go ahead and flip it over on the back. And on the back, do the same thing. Put this line and this line. And we're going to start at 16, okay? All right, so here's number 16. It says, what is a proper fraction? So the here's the options. So they represent a part of a whole, more generally, any number of equal parts. No. It's when the numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator. That's a no. It's when the numerator is less than the denominator. Yes. It's when the numerator is less than the denominator. Okay, this is your answer right here. So put it on 16. So proper fraction, the numerator is less than the denominator. So here's a proper fraction. That's proper, one half. Because the numerator is smaller than the denominator, okay? All right, so here's number 19 and here's number 20. So for number 19, they were asking you the definition of equivalent fractions, fractions that are equal. So the definition of equivalent fractions is fractions that are the same, okay? They have the same value. They're just bigger or smaller. So for example, one half is the same as two fourths. One half is the same as five tenths. It's still one half. They're the same. And for number 20, your question, it gives you something like this. Six over four, 10 over three, seven over two. Those are all examples of improper fractions. They are improper fractions. Okay. So make sure you guys get all these down. Okay. Write all this down on your paper. So whether you're using a paper like this or if you're using your page one of your notebook, okay? All right, so make sure you do your paper like this. If you have to use the back, do it. If you write pretty small and you can fit everything in the front, good. You're gonna take a picture of this and you're gonna put it in the correct slide. All right, guys, let me know if you have questions. All right, you have a good one.